and they come around full circle. It's always been just kind of a genetic blood thing, just hosting, inviting people, feeding them, serving them, making sure they have a good time. Worked for himself, and, and I just knew I needed to do the same thing, so we, we searched for opportunity and, uh, and, and came upon the, the empty space over there on Michigan Avenue where we are now, and, and my wife and I decided to give it a go, and, and uh, Started out as a weekday lunch only restaurant and served up some good food. Just me cooking and one guy serving. And, so, and then it's grown into what it has today. So. I think uh, when, I, when I think of the soup spoon, I, I think of eclectic, if you've been there, it comes to mind. We, tr we try to pull from, from, from decor to menus to cocktail offerings a hodgepodge of the very best from everywhere we can. So unique as far as we go after the best things, but push them all together without a common theme. Um, our, our role in the community um, has always been the idea of, and I say it quite a bit, of upscale food, upscale service, in a casual, all-inclusive setting. And the Soup Spoon seems to have kind of grown into this little spot where, where people meet and share experiences and bring their wives out for anniversaries and celebrate birthdays. And, and that's really important to me. That, that's the best part of the whole thing. Soup, to me, is the ultimate comfort food. When I don't feel well, I go straight for soup. When it's cold outside and I want to snuggle in, I go straight for soup.